Hello, my name is Jalen Avila, and in this video, I'm going to discuss how to identify a wrist effusion, as well as a few techniques for aspiration and injection. Now, the techniques are very similar for aspiration or injection. It's just with one of those, you're placing fluid in the joint, and with the other, you're removing fluid from the joint. Your probe of choice for this type of examination and procedure is going to be the linear transducer. And with regards to identification of effusions, I like to approach this from a dorsal aspect, identifying the wrist joint in this manner, in this method. You can see here the joint labeled. We have the extensor digitorum tendon as the top part of that joint, the roof. We can see the dorsal carpometacarpal ligament over top. And then right here is that radiocarpal joint or that wrist joint where we're gonna identify fluid. Now let's compare normal to an effusion. So we have normal over here and right here we're seeing hypoechoic fluid inside that joint that is consistent with a wrist effusion. Here is another example. Here is that extensor tendon. Here is that fluid inside of that joint. I'm going to take a brief pause here just to let you know that all of our content is on the coreultrasound.com website. That is Ultrasound Podcast, 5 Minutes Sono, Ultrasound of the Week, Clip Bank, and we also have our courses page where we have the Core Ultrasound Fundamentals and Core Ultrasound Question Bank where you have 3,200 questions with feedback, including narrated videos explaining the question. Check it out and back to your video. Now, with regards to aspiration or injection, we can do this under three different techniques. We can use the in-plane, the out-of-plane, or the way out-of-plane. With these smaller joints, I'm honestly often going to go with an out-of-plane or way out-of-plane approach, but you definitely can do an in-plane approach as well. And if you're going to do either, if you want to do the out-of-plane or the way out-of-plane, the probe is going to go transverse to the arm and you're going to go straight down either here or on the other side of that transducer. And then if you're going to do an out of plane approach, you're going to come in from a lateral to medial orientation this way. Here's an example of a in plane approach to aspirating fluid from that wrist joint right here. And here we can see that needle coming from an in plane approach into that wrist effusion to aspirate. Now remember, if you're going to do an injection or an aspiration, it's very similar. It's just, are you withdrawing fluid? Or are you putting fluid in? I will say that when you have a large effusion in a small joint space, like you see here, the in-plane approach works pretty well, but for injections, often the out-of-plane or the way out-of-plane technique is probably going to be a bit safer and a bit easier. That's it for this five-minute Sono video. I hope to hear from you soon and happy scanning.